if by using digital analytics uh, there were a sure shot guaranteed way to grow your business irrespective of your industry by 2x 5x 10x would you use it if there were a sure shot guaranteed way to make analytics an actionable asset to grow your business irrespective of your industry would you use it if there were a sure shot guaranteed way to make uh, analytics strategically important for your business irrespective of your industry would you use it if yes then this workshop is going to be for you in this workshop i'll give you a seven step blueprint to make analytics a strategic and competitive advantage for your business irrespective of your industry my name is sunmeet valia founder at data vinci consulting at the time of creation of this video we are a fully remote digital analytics consulting with a million dollar turnover and a team of 40 plus digital analytics ninjas now many of you might uh, recognize this great man he is uh, tony robbins he has influenced millions if not uh, billions of people across the world including myself to live their lives more consciously so i'm borrowing uh, one of his quotes uh, which is very profound if you think over it and the quote is that knowledge is not power knowledge is only potential power action is power now i have uh, modified this quote a bit okay so what i am saying is data is not power data is only potential power action is power okay so let's build upon uh, this statement that uh, it's potential power and action is power so when we use data and uh, when we create any kind of data analytics system in the company then when will data lead to actions if you give it a thought then data or any kind of information becomes actionable when the right people get the right data at the right time if you give the wrong data to the right person it is not actionable if you give the right data to the right person but at the wrong time it is not actionable if you give the right data at the right time to the wrong person it is not actionable okay so to make data actionable you need to give the right person the right data at the right time i realize that uh, because of my video this part of the video might not be visible so over here it's time okay so right time apologies for that so i have uh, gone ahead and named this framework and the name that i have chosen is analytics providence framework in the coming slides i will give detailed steps on how to use this framework to make uh, analytics an actionable asset within your organization so whenever you are planning to leverage analytics effectively in your system the first thing that you need to do is identify the functions in your business okay and the step one is to list all the digital departments all the departments that are there within your uh, company that are digital that require digital efforts that put in digital efforts you first list all of them right so for example marketing product us ux technology customer loyalty wherever there is a digital effort involved you list down all the departments okay what is step 2 you list all the designations within these departments so in marketing there can be cmo there can be vp paid marketing there can be google ads manager there can be meta ads manager etc etc so step 1 is listing down all the key departments and step 2 is listing down all the people who are the stakeholders or who are putting in effort in all these departments let's imagine that you have a sheet created where you have in one column all the departments and in the second column all the key people in that department or everybody in that department who can leverage data to make their decisions better you list that down the phase one is sorted step 2 is to get the right data now right is something which is very subjective right data is very subjective because what is right to one person can cannot be relevant for the other person step 3 is gather the requirements right so you have the departments you have the list of the people in those departments you meet them you try to understand their functions and then gather the requirements that what kind of data points do they need on a day to day basis which if provided to them at the right time will help th- help them to leverage data more effectively and take their decisions for example when you meet the folks in the marketing department they say that the data that is important for them is to learn about the user behavior by various campaign types or they want to understand the landing page performance right similarly if you want you go and meet to the people in the product department they want to learn that what is the highest friction in the user funnel okay so when you list down all the departments you list down all the key people and you start meeting them then you get a better understanding of what kind of data is important for them right step 4 is once you have the understanding of their requirements that these are the data points that are required for them you start creating the reports so you just create the reports to map the requirements that the stakeholders have uh, stated to you 
right so for example like the highest friction in a funnel the report would be stepwise conversion rate report all right moving to step 5 i might need to spend some time in explaining this properly so uh, step 5 is setting the report content and granularity all right so when the cmo says that uh, understanding the campaign performance is important for me and when someone who is not the cmo is at the middle level or at uh, the junior level when they say that understanding the campaign report performance is important for me the content is going to be very different for the cmo versus what you are giving to any other people who in the different levels in the different uh, hierarchy of uh, the organization so the cmo would prefer something which is by default very high level they are pressed with time they do not want to go too much into the operations and uh, execution right they want strategic information but someone whose role itself is execution someone whose role itself is operational right it's very tactical then they obviously need more tactical information they more need more granular information so that they can use that data if you give that person a very high level information that information might already be there with them so you need to provide them more rich content more details more data points so that they can act upon it if you give too much detail to the cmo then after a time they will lose interest they will get overwhelmed by all this information and it can also lead to uh, kind of confusions within the department because if the cmo does not understand something they do not have the context around it and if you share that information with them then uh, it can lead to con- confusions within the entire department because certain questions can come directly from the cmo and it can also change the priority order of the of the day okay so you need to understand and you need to ask them candidly that when you say campaign performance report then what kind of data points do you need you also need to do some your some of your own research beforehand when you are approaching to different people and make them suggestions that is this important to you is this important to you would you like to see this would you like to see that if possible whenever you are meeting a junior level person you can meet directly if you are meeting their manager take the junior level person with you then meet the manager if you are meeting the cmo take the manager with you and then meet the cmo prepare whatever the meeting you are going to have with a person beforehand like i am going to propose this to your manager are you fine with it so that will help you to properly create something that is actionable and widely acceptable within the within the business within the hierarchy within within the particular function okay so you set the content based on the requirement and the designation of the uh, of the person coming to the granularity when you are sending a report a marketing performance report to the C- ceo a ceo or cmo might not require a daily granularity of the report they can see something which is going on at a weekly level they can see something which is going on at a monthly level quarterly level right but someone again who is at a junior level who is at the execution level tactical level they need more granular data they need something which is on, done on a daily basis because they are doing something day in day out they want to see what happened yesterday so that they can strategize and take actions for today right so you need to design the content and you need to design the granularity of the report based on the designation of the person based on what is actionable for them what is relevant for them not every data point is going to be actionable for them there can be tendencies among people that just to showcase your work just to showcase that oh i know so so much i can do all this you want to showcase that work to a senior person then instead of becoming something that is supporting them in their decision making you are over, overwhelming them and it's becoming a pain point for them okay so i'll not stretch upon this further but this is what i want to convey with the step 5 now let's move to step 6 you need to understand that data analytics is not the core function of the various departments it's your core function so if you send too many reports daily even if they are at a fairly junior level and you are sending them daily tactical reports so let's understand this thing that irrespective of how important you feel about a particular data point about a particular report the core uh, job of uh, the various people in the various departments is not data analysis so if you feel that some report is very important and you keep on sending that report let's say there is someone who is going to do google ads uh, management and you are sending them daily reports around uh, google ads around the various aspects of google ads around the various aspects of the user behavior when the people are coming from google ads then it's not going to become actionable and it's going to lose interest right so it's important that you speak to people you understand the priority order you understand that what is critically important for them that they need for sure at a set time and what is optional and what is on low priority right and based on that you set the frequency of delivery of these reports such that it becomes sustainable for them 
and analytics is not something which is burdening them which is not an additional task that they need to do and they can seamlessly accept the data that you are sending to them use it in their day to day decision making and then uh, you know optimize their digital efforts right so i hope that is also clear so if you follow this you identify that these are the right people how you are going to approach to them you understand their data requirements you create the right reports you set the right content you set the right granularity and you give them at the right time then by default analytics is going to get something become something that is actionable that is something that has a wide acceptance within the organization and you are taking a good step towards inculcating a data driven culture now it might seem complex it's not very complex so if you do this in a excel spreadsheet and this is how it's going to be you list down the departments you list down the recipient you list down the report that they need and then you simply list down the frequency right obviously you will have your own notes which are supporting the content that you have on this spreadsheet but if you try to create even if this simple structure for uh, taking your baby steps towards doing this thing then it's going to be highly effective all right now i'll tell you about a secret sauce which can make this even more powerful and that is proactively seeking regular feedback on your work so whenever you are sending the reports right ensure that you are spending some some time on a daily basis to meet some people to just casually interact with them to understand that you are sending them the data how they are using it are they stuck somewhere what can you do to make it better how, what can you do to help them understand that data and use that data regularly on a day to day basis if the frequency is too much if the frequency is too less etc 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 so that will give you a feedback on your work so that you can improve the reports you can improve the frequency you can improve the content or you can create new reports additional reports you can take more initiatives you can participate in the business and create something that is actionable and that becomes an asset for the organization to create a data driven system of ongoing optimization now at the beginning of this uh, presentation i had this slide that if by using digital analytics there were sure sure guaranteed way to grow your business irrespective of your industry by 2x 5x 10x then would you do it so it's not a clickbait it's actually possible because if you think over it if you have a good business model right and you are using data then you not only discover growth opportunities and optimization opportunities faster if you are not using data especially if you are working with a team you also do this in a more consistent manner because you have discovered a system you have discovered a process of doing this right secondly if you are working with a team then since you have the feedback through data on the performance of individual contributors you can find out that whether their efforts are aligned towards the north star of your business or there is some kind of distraction right so you can also ensure that you are eliminating any kind of distraction eliminating any kind of wastage faster and in a more consistent manner if you were using data versus if you were not using any kind of data so if you are able to leverage analytics in your business in a systematic manner in a scalable manner using the model that i shared in this workshop then you definitely improve your chances of uh, growing your business by 2x 5x and 10x and that is what all the companies who have been able to achieve success have been doing right so just a quick recap what all did we dis discuss so we discussed that the step 1 to establish the analytics providence framework to establish a framework that can guarantee you your your success is to list all the departments then you list all the key, key team members you gather the requirement from the team members you map the requirements to the reports you set the report content and granularity and you set the report frequency based on the requirements of the key people based on the people that you have identified in your business and i guarantee you if you follow this with discipline then you are definitely going to boost the chances of your success significantly all right i hope this video was worthy of your time i would love to know your thoughts on the topic that i have covered today till then more good stuff coming and take care